What is up guys? It's your boy Respeller here and this time we're going to be doing a top 10 logos list. Today we are going to be doing the top 10 television logos that scared me as a child. Now there are plenty of different factors in which a logo, TV logo scared me as a child. Whether it's the fanfare, how it looks, or stuff like that. Anyways, enough with the chitter chatter, let's get to the video. Let's get to the video. Again, this is my personal opinion. Number 10. So number 10 is the 20th Century Fox television logo from 1999. So the reason why this logo caught me off guard as a child is because of how, number one, how tall the structure is, and number two, the fanfare, which is basically the 1997 fanfare, an Abridge version and alternate version of the 1997 fanfare. I mean the 1995 fanfare. Right now, my opinion on Fox, I like Fox. Which means, which means, in during the 2014-2015 season, I decided to stop liking Warner Brothers Television and then go to 20th Century Fox Television. Because since the fact that I learned that Warner Brothers Television had logos that scared me as a kid. Anyways, enough with the chitter chatter. Let's get to the freaking point. Let's get to the freaking point. Hmm. Number nine. Number nine is the Fox Television Studios logo from 2008. The last time I saw this logo on actual television is on a recording of the Wanda Sykes show, which which was a short-lived uh, talk show on Fox that aired Saturday nights during the 29-2010 season. One thing about the logo that caught me off guard was the lightning, the, the, the bolt of lightning crashing on the structure. Of course, there's a reminder of that fairly old parents episode where lightning struck Cosmo, but it got his wand to work. Again, right now, I like Fox, so that means, so, so that means, I don't mind, I don't mind it. Okay, let's get to moving on with number eight. So, number eight is the Columbia Pictures television logo from 1993. The last time I saw this logo on actual television is during reruns of 227 in the mid-2000s, in late 2005. I know at that time my father was in the hospital. He, he, the only thing that caught me off guard about this logo, the only thing that about this logo that caught me off guard is the fanfare how fast the fanfare was I can't, I mean it didn't have to be so that freaking fast come on Columbia what were you thinking anyways moving on with number seven number seven is the Warner Brothers domestic television distribution logo from 1994 and I'm abruptly sorry and I'm sorry about the logo playing in the background for the other three there had no music now I remember seeing the 1994 logo on the at the end of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Living Single two shows from my uh childhood 
Well, when I watched The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, what I didn't like about the logo is the 1994 fanfare. Be so that means what, at the end of that show, what calmed it down was the hip-hop theme. Yeah, the hip-hop theme calmed it down. And it was said, according to, Silji, according to Silji Wiki, it said that reruns of The Fresh Prince had this logo play the hip-hop theme until the 1994-1996 episodes. Until the 1994 to 96 episodes. Yep. So that means starting with the season 5 premiere of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, don't expect to hear the hip-hop tune because it will be replaced by the bombastic 1994 fanfare. Yeah, the bombastic 1994 fanfare is what, is what caught me off guard. Moving on with... Number 6. Number six is the Buena Vista television logo from 2005. The version used here is the long version that did not debut until 2006. The last time I saw this logo was when WGN reran, was when WGN TV Chicago reran Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Now, I rem I re yeah, I remember WGN airing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. At that time, Meredith Vieira was the host. In which after that, then, then there would be the WGN News at Noon. I also saw it on Life of Reaches and Kelly, which is now Ryan and Seacrest. The big thing that about the logo that caught me off guard as a child is how is the planet being too close to the camera. Yes, the planet was too close to the camera. And I think the planet was the planet Neptune. Right now, what I think about this logo it's very majestic and and the music is very Disney sounding. Anyways, moving on with number five. Number five is the Touchstone Television logo from 2004. So that means we're already at the top five. Hooray! So, yeah, the Touchstone. T I heard that that this logo was the final logo from Touchstone Television before the company was renamed ABC Studios in 2007, which right now is ABC Signature as of 2020. The big thing that caught me off guard is how the logo starts, similar to the to the 2002 Touchstone Pictures and Home Entertainment logos, which starts at Illumination. Illumination. Actually, I like the 1985, the 1988 logo better, the 1998 TV logo better, because it it most definitely does not start the way the 2004 starts. The 2004 logo starts. Anyways, now we're gonna move on with Number four. Number four is the Sony Pictures Television logo from 2002. Yes, Sony Pictures Television debuted on September 16th, 2002, although it did not use a logo until November that year. So the version used here is the long version. And CLG Wiki said that the long version was used on every episode of Jeopardy from 2002 until CBS television distribution took over in 2007, in October. Now, the long version is what caught me off this logo, is what caught me off guard as a child. I like the normal version and the short version. At that time, the only show where I could find the normal version of the logo is another, is this other game show created by Merv Griffin, which is Will of Fortune, while the short version can be on, can only be found on the King of Queens, sadly. Again, yeah, the King of Queens is the only show where you can find the short version of this logo. Anyways, moving on with number three. Number three. 
Number three is the NBC Studios logo from 2000. Now, at this, as a child, I did not like this logo a lot because this reminds me of Wheel of, I mean, Will and Grace when it was rerun on WGN in the mid 2000s. Because after after that logo, then most of all, the Warner Brothers television logo from 2001 shows up, which I'll talk about later. Right, and I predicted that NBC, that it was NBC who started this Warner Brothers television crap. But I realized it was ABC when they were making all those Warner Brothers westerns. And guys, don't and don't mind the Jeopardy music playing in the background. I usually don't watch Jeopardy with my father until I'm with my father. Anyways, we're gonna next. We're gonna move on with. Number two. Family Matters is a Miller Moyet production in association with Warner Brothers Television and is distributed by Warner Brothers Domestic Television Distribution. So number two is Miller Boya Productions and Warner Brothers Television from 1993. So we've got another Warner Brothers logo here. So the big difference here is the Miller is the incredible Miller Boya Productions logo. As the as this video said, this was taken from the Family Matters season five episode "Good Cop, Bad Cop." And what I also noticed here is that is that the the actor in the show, one of the actors in the show, Reginald Bell Johnson, who plays Carl Winslow on Family Matters, said does his voiceover a little faster. Faster because at that time, again, Good Cop, Bad Cop was a season five episode of Family Matters, and beginning with season five. Reginald Val Johnson would said, would say, in association with Warner Brothers Television, in association with Miller Boya, with Lorimar Television, after saying, Family Matters is a Miller Boya production. I mean, that's what I didn't, that's what I didn't like as a kid. The Warner, the 1993 Warner Brothers logo showing up instead of the Lorimar Television logo. And I know, yes, Lorimar Television folded in 1993 folded into Warner Brothers Television in 1993 after only 24 years in business. R.I.P. Lorimar Television, 1969 to 1993. Again, I, that's what I did not like as a kid. And now, what can I say, guys? We're going to move to the number one television logo that scared me as a child. And that logo is... Number one. Oh my, where do I begin with this logo? Number one is the Warner Brothers television logo from 2001, my birth year. <sighs> Again, where do I begin with this logo? Here's is here are the a couple, multiple things that scared me as a as a kid about this logo that scared me as a kid number one the fanfare the bombastic 1994 fanfare number two the way the shield looks at the viewer in which they think the lure the viewer is a complete lunatic number three how big the shield is again the shield being very big did not help matters and number four the how dark the background is is, yeah, it says the club background in the 2001 logo is darker. Again, that did not help matters. And I understood that it's from two, and I understand it's from 2001 because of the violent reading and AOL Time Warner Company because of the merger between compl being completed between, um, uh, being between AOL Time Warner and t AOL America Online and Time Warner being completed at the in 2000. However, that still does not help the fact. That this logo is the number one TV logo that scared me as a kid. As a kid. Here are the shows that were, where I saw this logo. Wool and Grease. France. Family. Full House. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I remember seeing this logo a lot on Wool and Grease when it was rerun on WGN. And I remember one WGN rerun had the logo being in a high tone. 
I mean, I mean, the low tone of the 1994 fanfare did not help matters. But the 1990, but the high tone version, is even wor was even worse. On that one, the high tone version on that one WTN rerun was even worse. And that's my opinion, guys. That's my list, guys. Again, this is like with a lot of other people. This is just my personal opinion. I'm, I may hate a TV logo, but you may like it. It's fine. Because I said this TV logo scared me as a kid. Don't just go ahead and dislike this video. This is my personal opinion. All right. Again, I am on the road to a thousand subscribers, and I will not do that if you guys do not subscribe and leave any likes. And also, tap that bell so you will not miss anything new. That's my list, guys. So, so again, let me know in the comment section which, let me, let me, guys, okay, let me know what. TV logo, which one of the TV logos scared you as a child? So, th so right now I gotta go. I have a lot of college work to finish. Peace. I'm out. See y'all later.